I am dealing with repressed childhood memories. Shame was my ancestral inheritance. The shame I was born into, in my family, culturally, societally, geographically. I am condemned for laughter, dancing, singing, being with trees. These are all the ways that I tap into my wellness. Trees are my family. They connect me with divine energy in myself and creation. This scares people who don't understand. Their fear is primal, based on survival and can be extremely hostile. The irony and paradox of life is that we all have lightness and darkness. When I reconnect with that part of myself, I was conditioned to believe was bad. It tells me it just needs to be loved. I had just come out of an appointment at Sasha. I went into the bathroom at City Hall and I was laughing. It's a manifestation of that divine energy in its purest form. And it's my soul expressing joy as laughter. So there I was in the bathroom at City Hall laughing and the janitor thanked me. I shared that I had just come from an appointment at Sasha. She said that my story made her realize that she needed to encourage someone she loved to go back to Sasha and get support. When I share my justice and share who I am, it empowers other people to be who they are. I tell my story to break the cycle of shame, anger, and violence. It is a ripple effect. Today, I am living my story about my experience being a survivor, evolving as a thriver. To be present, I put my hand on my heart. I reconnect with my breath. My breath is my soul. I am learning to trust me, to follow my soul. I am learning to be safe, comfortable, and secure in my own skin. As I rewrite my own story, I am creating a new narrative for myself. This is me. I am my own masterpiece. I am home, whole, and free, just the way I am as Tammy Jane Jackson. Trusting, respecting, embracing, celebrating, honoring, and appreciating the power of my soul. My crown on my chip tie and chip tie are the eyes. This is me, Tammy Jane Jackson. <laughs>